Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car building tuning episode. And it is Christmas today. I uh, wish you all a very happy Christmas. Um, unless you're from Australia or somewhere where the time zones are different and you've already gone through Christmas already. Would, if you think about it, that blows my mind. Like, time zones, I just don't understand. Why well, just keep the same time zone everywhere? Uh, but no, that wouldn't work actually, would it? Because it gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let, me just, let me just think about that again. <laughs> So yeah, hope you had a brilliant Christmas, and this is the last episode of these car builds, leading all the way up to Christmas. Uh, so this is number 25. Um, I gave you, I, I told you guys to to think of a car that was a little bit different. I uh, didn't want like a normal normal car, and you guys have produced, you've produced. So thank you so much on the support of doing all these. Um, it's absolutely brilliant, um, and I appreciate it. And yeah, thank you very much. So let me just grab the car, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here it is, the Ford F100. Uh, it's D-Class as standard. Um, it looks absolutely the balls. Um, I can't wait hey to drift this, to What's be fair. Um, it's a lot different, so you guys pulled it out of the bag. And the comment was by uh, Jooms... Sorry, I can't see, my eyes are fucked. Um, Jooms Drifter 12 uh, thank you very much for your suggestion, and thanks to everyone who thumbs up his comment as well. Uh, so we pulled a very nice car here in the last episode. Um, <coughs> a little bit different. Uh, sorry if I do sound a little bit shitty, uh, but yeah, I can't. I, well, I can help it by not drinking a lot of drink. Um, I went out last night and I got a little bit, a little bit too far. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just trying to think what to do here. Uh, should we V8 this? Uh, because 173 horsepower as stock, with weight 1,500 kilograms. Let's V8 it. So let's chuck the V8 in. There we go. Extra little bit of power. Uh, seeing as it does weigh a lot. Even though the weight is all going to be on the front. Because in the rear there's nothing. Um, so it's going to be... It's going to be a very loose car. That's all I'm going to say. A very loose car. Um, so let's do stock aspiration. Uh, we don't want too much power in this car. But we can chuck a little bit more in. Okay. So we've got some bumpers we can chuck on here. Uh, let's go for the clean look. Uh, let's take off like the the bump. Uh, I don't I don't know what the correct word that, for that is. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, should we get rid of it on the back as well? Kind of like it on the back to be honest. It kind of yeah. Let's keep it on the back. <coughs> and the side skirts. Oh okay. You get a wheel. <laughs> you just have wheel. <laughs> Uh, let's not do that. Let's keep it clean. Uh, let's take that off. Okay, so that's that. Uh, actually, does that add weight? Yes, it does. Uh, only three kilograms, so there's no point doing that. Okay, so that's that. All that done, done. Okay, tires. Let's stick stock tires. Um, a very heavy car, so I don't want to. I don't want to limit the tire spin a bit too much. So let's go two, four, fives on the front. Let's upgrade those quite a bit. And on the rear. Two four fives as well. So let me just go to the front. Let's go two two fives on the front and uh, two four fives on the rear. Uh, that should be a lot better. Okay, now onto rims. Go into the specialized section. I think. Um, I think this is going to be the best option. I have a feeling they're going to look absolutely the balls, like <laughs> just balls, mate, balls. Uh, so let's put them on. Um, What's with the white around the rim? Is that normally there? I don't think it is, is it? I think that's just the car feature. Uh, but let's go for 18 inch. Uh, I don't want to oversize them, but... What's it? What does the... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's go 18 inch. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. So, they're on. Uh, Drivetrain. Everything in here is going to be race. Go through and put everything on here. Race. Uh, watch out for the Storm Island upgrade there. You don't want to put the Storm Island uh, upgrade on. It kills your speed. Uh, as I learned a few episodes ago. <laughs> and I didn't even notice either. Um, I was actually trying to tune the gears. Uh, but I didn't realise that I actually put it on until I watched it back. So, yeah. Awkward. <laughs> so, race differential is on. Uh, platform and handling. I think everything in here is going to be race as well. Uh, so, go through and put everything in here race as well. Uh, oh, what? Oh, that looks ridiculous.
ridiculous. Oh my god. I didn't realise it dropped it that much. It goes from that to that. Oh, oh that looks sick. I didn't even realise it dropped that much. Okay. That's just made this car amazing. <laughs> those wheels are the perfect sizes as well. Like those uh, rim size. Perfect. Spot on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So let's chuck a roll cage. Uh, race weight reduction, which 1,200 kilos. Okay. Very light car now. What? Why is the game restarting? Oh, my brain. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Come on in. How can okay, so we're back. Um, I can't remember where I got up to before. Um, Forza Horizon trolled me. Um, did I put all this on? Yes, I did. Okay, so I got to the end of the weight reduction and then it kicked me off the game. So, onto the power. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to put much more power into this. Uh, 400 horsepower in this car is going to be more than sufficient. It's, there's no weight at the rear. So, the rear is going to spin up so easy yeah so I'm just going to put the exhaust and air filter on uh, just trying to produce a little bit more sound for our ear loving and I think that'll be about it for that in terms of upgrades um, yeah let's, let's jump out into free mode and see how this slides it should slide very well because obviously very very light car in the rear yeah the rear just spins up it feels a bit like a boat, just the fact that there's no weight in the rear, like it's, it just glides. Um, that is the first thing that I have come across in this car, it just, it's like a boat. <laughs> Am I on the wrong game? I'm on like Boat Simulator 214 or something. Don't know why I said 214, but yeah. Fair enough. Anyway, let's jump back. <laughs> let's change the subject. Let's go over here. <coughs> it's like Farming Simulator, mate. Who, who actually, does anyone actually play Farming Simulator? Or is it just me who thinks that it's just, what, what do you even do on it? Like, do you just quite literally farm and that is it? I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, this car looks absolutely sweet. I love the, I love the wheels. Um, oh yeah, sorry, um, I was going to say, um, I was going to put a paint on this car. Uh, it's got suggested that I should put like a Santa paint onto this car. Uh, but if I press the Xbox button, you can see that Xbox Live has gone down. Uh, probably because it's Christmas, everyone's trying to get it on Xbox Live, etc. And it's gone down, so there's no paints actually available. Uh, so it kind of sucks. Uh, but I made, I made it red. <laughs> it's close enough. Just imagine, like, it feels, I feel like a bit like Postman Pat right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just Postman Pat. <laughs> okay, let's, let's give this a slide on this section. Uh, it should feel quite nice, though. Uh, felt quite nice, nice just around these. Uh, it felt alright then. Uh, but see how it feels here. Sliding quite well. Gear 3 does feel very long, but obviously there's no weight in the rear, so spinning up the tyres anyway, I don't think it's going to bog down at all. Yeah, I just don't think this is going to bog down, even. Even if you're in, like, say, gear 5, etc. I don't don't think it will bog down on you. It's just got no weight in the rear. Uh, which which is handy for a drift car. Uh, but also, it's not very handy for stableness, maybe. Uh, but you could chuck it in with more force. Uh, so let's just put... Let's just put a tidy tune on this. I pressed the wrong button once again. <sighs> I really want to drift that. I don't want to see a drift tune of that, because... I love the way it looks. I just love the way that car looks. Like, call, call me old. I suppose I'm getting quite old now. So <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I just it just really appeals to me that car. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to shorten the gear in a tiny bit. Uh, it doesn't really need it because it does spin up very easily. But I'm going to do it just in terms of uh, being used to, to short, being used to shorter gears. So let's put the camber up a tiny bit as well. Uh, let's go 5.5 cast the anti roll bars. Let's bring the rear towards stiff a little bit. There we go. And springs pretty soft as standard. Um, you can leave it there if you prefer to have softer cars. Uh, but I I prefer stiffer cars. So I am going to take this up to more of my area. 
<laughs> my area breath. Um, so that's that. Ride height is all the way to the bottom, which is good, good, good. That's weird. Like you never normally when you come into tune, you never see the ride height all the way on the bottom. But I suppose this is um, a very particular car. Um, so let's do that. Rebound sift this all the way up. Bump stiffness is fine. Okay, differential we go 100%, 100%. So. Just like my last episode, really, I, d I don't think this car is going to need too much tuning, to be fair. Um, this isn't really the best game for tuning. Uh, you don't really need tunes. Uh, you can just slap on upgrades and drift cars, basically. It's, it's quite simple. Yeah, the gears feel a little bit better. You can actually feel that the wheels are spinning up so much easier. Even though we're spinning up um, a lot better, but there's a lot more acceleration in the gears. Uh, probably. In Probably a little bit easier for like tandems etc because you can just you could just um, accelerate up to the back of someone but then you've still got the tire spin to stay behind them uh, using brakes etc so oh shit oh I took that in so close uh, but yeah this feels quite nice sideways um, tempted to take the tire pressures down in the front give me a little bit more grip in the front uh, but other than that this is kind of is pretty much what you expect it to be um, especially being a truck there's no weight in the back, so it's, it's going to spin up easy. Expect it to be a little bit loose. Um, I don't think we're going to help that, to be honest. Uh, we could do like tyre pressures, etc., but it's not going to help. So I'm so tired today. I, don't know, I haven't even done anything today. It's just last night, it's just absolutely down. rinsed me. I just I have no motivation for anything. Um, hope you wet too much food. <laughs> oh, dinner was huge. I've got like a got like a food baby right now. Uh, but yeah, this guy's feeling quite nice. Um, oh, I thought I could take that a little bit close. But yeah, this feels actually quite stable to be fair. It feels very stable, especially for such a light car in the rear. Yeah, changing the tire pressure has really helped on the front. Uh, very long car, you have to get used to the fact that it is a very long car. And it's raining in game. Well, hey, my once an episode rain is here. <laughs> so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you were having an amazing Christmas. Um, I'll, give, I'll give this one more run. Um, I wonder, did any of you get like an Xbox One for Christmas? Uh, for the Horizon 2. Uh, if you did, you can try out some of these tunes uh, that are done all leading up to Christmas. Uh, just search for Gamer Tag and you'll be able to find them on there. Um, so that's easy peasy. Um, pretty sick game if you have just um, got it. Uh, so I don't know, I haven't got bored of it. I could just go and free roam. I can, like even if you're not drifting, like I haven't got bored of drifting yet. And I don't think I will on this game. Uh, when you go online, there's always people at like Castelletto, um, this place, the uh, docks, maybe the airport. Some very nice lines in the airport. Um, if you just look in those places and there's a group of like three to four people, just go up there um, and they're bound to be drifting. They will be drifting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this onto the storefront for you guys so you can go on there and download the tune uh, that saves you copying it down yourself. So, let me do that right now. Uh, let's, oh, I can, I can never type this right. It's this button. It's that button right there. It fell off when I first got the Thrustmaster. That button right there, it fell off. So I had to glue it back in. <laughs> and I think it fucked it up. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> that is the tune there. Um, it's going to be uploaded onto the storefront. When the servers can back up. Obviously they're not, they're not coming up right now. Because obviously we just hit level 100 on Horizon 2 as well. Sick. Um... <laughs> yeah, a little bit of tangents here. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I can't remember my first point. Uh, but yeah, when the servers come back up, uh, the Xbox Live servers, I will upload this onto the storefront for you guys to download. Uh, be a lot simpler. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you had an amazing Christmas. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't get too drunk. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>